Hello everyone, this guy's going to show you how to use the new Sketchfab Ripper. Once you have it downloaded and extracted this tool, we shall begin. First, go to the anyupdater.exe and run it. This will pop up and download a new key. Give this a few minutes to finish. Now that it's done, we will close this window. Now go down to the sketchfabripper.ini, right click it, go to properties, and click read only, apply, press OK. Now load the sketchfab ripper. Once that pops up, what we need to do is go to a website, primarily sketchfab, and find the URL. I will rip this model instead. <clears throat> now what you do is go to here in this tab, paste the URL, click download once this appears. Now that the icon is ready, we will click download. This will process the .bin files and convert it to the fbx obj .blend file. Once that is done, I'll show you what to do next. As you can see, the model is now done. What you want to do is go back to the Sketchfab Ripper tool, go to your downloads folder, find your model that you ripped, in this case it will be Werewolf Walking, and your models are right here. Now, how do we get the textures? Well, that is simple. We need to open up Ninja Ripper, use Ninja Ripper on Pale Moon web browser, which I'll have download links below. Now, for the very important step, we want to use the x64 version of Ninja Ripper. Go to ninjaripper.exe. Give this a second. Go to Pale Moon. In this case, I already have it pre readied. Now, for me, I'll go to Settings. Read button map these for keyboard on my laptop. I'll press OK. <clears throat> Now go to run, give this a minute. Now that Pell Moon is ready, we want to paste the URL here and go. Now, once we're on the Sketchfab page, what we want to do is scroll down, wait for the X to appear. Or find this icon right here, zoom in. Now, what you want to do for an animated model is to pause it. Now, rip it. This should cause the Sketchfab page to lag, pause, or buffer. This is pretty common and will is proof that your textures are being ripped. So please be patient. <clears throat> the main way to know if your textures are finished being ripped is this. Move your mouse and you will see your hand is still in its grab phase. So wait for the icon to change and you will know your textures are done. So yeah. Now that we're done with Pale Moon, what you want to do is go back to Ninja Ripper, go to the directory tab, go to browse, hit find your texture file, go to underscore ninja ripper, go to underscore pale moon, go to here, and this will be all your textures right here. Go to size. You'll find your DDS textures. So how do you convert to DDS textures? In this case, I will use Naosis to find the textures I want and convert them to PNG or JPEG. Now that Naosis is up, I will close it. The one tab I mean, <clears throat> that will go to my desktop. Search the Pale Moon web browser. Go to Ninja Ripper. Find the location. Here's the folder. Go into it. Give this a few seconds. Sort by size. Yeah, this can lag sometimes, so be patient with Naosis. Okay, it will do smaller to biggest, but we want biggest to smallest. Okay, then we click on the texture. Scroll down and press enter to view it. Yeah, this can be rather tedious at times, but this is how it is like to rip models from Sketchfab. Yeah, 
yeah, I don't think this model per se uses textures, so I will actually have to create my own custom textures for this model. But for proof that this model was ripped, I will show you the actual ripped model. So like previous, how I showed you where the model location is, I will go to my model ripping folder, which is 3D Rippers, Sketchfab Ripper, go to the downloads, go down to the werewolf, click here, find the 3D model, and there you go. That is how you rip the 3D models and textures from Sketchfab. If you have any questions, feel free to ask and I'll be happy to help. Later.